There it is. All right. Awesome. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Let's uh, let's crush the day here by putting in another entry. Today I wanted to talk about having good friends, knowing how to pick your friends, and knowing what kind of environment is good for you and what's bad for you. Being aware of the circumstances. Always, always, always seeing what your options are and being okay with detaching from people, things, results, expectations, whatever it may be, to then minutely curate your safe that <laughs> minutely curate yourself in a way where you look back over time with the effort you put in little by little and realize I've become really great in your own definition of great not in like a uh, pompish way or a uh, egotistical or but in a way with real change of the way of your perspective how you carry yourself every day the way you treat other people the stuff that you would think is corny but in reality it's like what else really is there I think we tend to laugh at that type of thinking and concept because it's like yeah I know this already if you do the world would be a much better place but are we being kind to one another are we choosing our words better to uh, maturely argue different points to each other and the benefit that hey I'm exchanging this with you and you're exchanging this with me to collaborate together and see two ways of thinking, being able to be in that person's shoes and have a better understanding and grip for the world that you live in. Now to segue this into friends, I have a couple of friends that have really made this year so important being that the relationship between these few people is so great because when I get to chat with these people, it reminds me that there's such a vast world out there and being able to connect with the few people that really understand to just see you as a person and to honor many sides of you and not just the first side that they met you on on that basis or interests is really special and that no matter what you tend to dive into there's no judgment there's always how can we help each other grow how can we um, make sure that we are offering our I wouldn't say advice, but offer our thoughts and offer our thinking and perspective to further challenge yourself with either being truthful to people that tend to be a little bit more on the sensitive and softer side. It comes off as like your friends being mean to you, but the, the people who tell you straight up, straightforward really only want the best for you, but it takes you know, practice to kind of diagnose that for yourself. And most of the time, a lot of us don't really get to understand this lesson until many moments later. And in hindsight, if you have a lot of pride, it's hard to say that, man, I fucked up and I'm sorry, you were right. Because you seem to have I don't know, this kind of thinking placement nowadays of having to know it all. But like, the same thing I tell my son, you can't be afraid to make mistakes. 
and there's no learning involved if you're not stumbling a little bit to have some type of obstacle in front of you and work through it. I was a little hesitant about making <laughs> vlogs or posting these long form stories just because one, I had to get over my ego and get over what people were gonna say. And two, not comparing someone else's final product that they've been working years upon this skill. And this is like the official day two for me of uh, being productive and taking on something new. But just tasting and trying new things. This is um <laughs> really fun. Not tonight. Segue too far away from this topic. Just having good friends. Um, I have a couple friends that do a little bit of different things. But one in particular in the thing that we all met on was from dance music. And from dance music that sprouted into, I guess for all of us, having this thought of, okay, that's cool that we met here, but what else are you into? And honoring how cool it is to just talk about anything versus having friends that you can only talk about one thing and the conversations are very limited and they're really short and it's not really like impactful. There's no depth, it really sucks. So that's a good way to kind of see what kind of circle you're in. And it's really up to you if you want to stay there to kind of flow with the crowd or take in this new day, new experience to know when to drop things out of your life and start switching things up because when it comes down to it to finalize this day it's really up to you and I think having that much freedom of choice and free will can be overpowering to some and to some degree if you think about it why do we tend to distract ourselves from the work that we need to do. When I mean work, it's like internal work to figuring out ourselves with um, electronic devices, relationships or situations that take us away from our natural path. It's a big thought that I've been thinking about, but I guess I'll save that for another episode. I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. Your environment is everything. To be surrounded by people that <clears throat> don't feel a need to hold you back. They're always there to lift you up or find and help you with your equivalent if you're deciding to redirect yourself and redirect your life overall and be a, uh, a helping hand. Yeah, I guess when I gain more thoughts about this, we'll come back, but now, have a good day, it's right for you.